Hello everybody, my name is Jesper Anker, I'm here representing CyclingUp.TV and I'm very happy to be here with uh, Jan Bata and Sam Bennett of Bora Argon 18. How are you guys doing? Not too bad. Um, here in Mallorca, good weather. Well, finally good weather, so yeah, not too bad. Yeah, it's fun. It was a little bit rain, but now it's sunny and the next day is still sunny. It's good to hear. <laughs> uh, as you mentioned, you guys are currently in Mallorca, that's your, where your training camp is at, correct? Yeah, that's it. And um, yeah, we're here for the first race of, the, uh, of our season, so it's a two-week block. Mm -hmm. uh, could you guys run me through a day in your life at the training camp? Like, when do you wake up? What do you do? And when do you go to sleep? Yeah, it's uh, well, we're doing two separate groups. So for like each day, first thing in the morning, like it's every second day. First day is uh, the climbers with the core. The next day, and then the sprinters in the evening have the stretching, and then it changes the next day, uh, vice versa. <laughs> So then, for us, yeah, like we, yeah, it depend on whether we have core in the morning or not. We just get up. We have breakfast at eight. We have, a, yeah, we have our training at half nine. If it's over five hours, ten. If it's under five hours, and yeah, doing a bit of spin training. Then we're back. We're trying to get a lot of media stuff done this week. Um, uh, afterwards, so then like we, yeah, we have that. We have massage. Then dinner in the evening times, and yeah, then we uh, try to get to bed. And then I suppose for you, it's a little different. Uh, oh, yeah, for me, it's almost the same. Just the training is a little bit other. But today, I'm in the climbers group, and today I was wake up a little bit later. But tomorrow I have to wake up. I don't know, seven twenty, maybe seven fifteen, because the uh, core training start uh, seven thirty before the breakfast and yeah maybe the massage tomorrow <laughs> it does sound like a packed schedule for a training camp that yeah yeah it's, it's strange this week because you actually yeah you know, obviously our bodies are phys physically able for it but it's a lot and you don't feel they have much downtime so physically you're kind of tired or sorry mentally you're a bit tired so yeah, it's strange that way <laughs> totally understand that so let's move on to the next topic. You recently went from being Team uh, NetApp Endura in 2014 to becoming Bora Argon 18 in 2015. Do you feel a change from going from the one sponsor to another? Yeah, I think so. It's main like it's changing more towards like a, a, a full German team, full German setup. Um, it's kind of kind of changed its roots a bit more. Um, but also, yeah, like I think the team is making another step. It's a bit more professional this year. I think, the, like we're all making another step, another level. So I think it's it's looking good. Um, I don't know for you. Oh, I think the team changed some some things like bikes, clothes, and I think all these small things are better, and it's uh, good for the team because every small thing make the difference in the races. Yeah, then a follow up. You got, uh, Sam, as you mentioned, the team is becoming more German. How do you guys feel that now that you're both not German, that you're on a German team? Well, uh, for me it's different. He, he speaks German, so he's okay. <laughs> um, like, but when I, I get stuck with more Germans and they kind of forget themselves and then they start speaking German, I can't understand too much. So yeah, I, I'm going to have to learn a bit of German. But no, like it's... It's, it's a lot of the same people, so like they're they're all your friends anyway. So you don't feel excluded really. But yeah, I just I just I'm just gonna just have to knuckle down and learn a bit of German, I guess. <laughs> that sounds good. Best of luck regarding that. Okay, so earlier in this month, ASO rewarded uh, Bor Argon another Tour de France wildcard. You got one last year as well, but you guys did very well. And this year you're going again. What are you guys' expectations for the Tour de France? Do you expect to make the start list this year? I think it's hard to say what we expected because uh, I was last year on the tour, but it's not really sure that I go this year. But I, I hope I can go there and make some better uh, results like the last year. And I think uh, the place is still open and uh, the, the team take the best rider for the Tour de France and try to do the best in this race how about like, you Sam? yeah like you see it's also depending on the, the the team's goals you know like they're really they want to support Dominic for the, the the GC and then yeah with Jan they have like a really good time trialist so like you know third on the is the second last stage 
Yeah. This year. That's that's a, a massive ride. That's like it's like it's really good. So for sure, I think you know his highs are his his hopes are high. But yeah, for me, I have to see what their goals are, see what they want to get from the race, and like I'd absolutely love a start. I think it'd be very beneficial for me, um, and also just to to gain a bit of experience and just to have a grand tour in the legs. That was good. That was also going to be my follow-up question because you mentioned Jan got third in the stage. I was going to ask if you think you deserved a spot because you didn't get a spot last year. Um, I don't know. Like last year, you know, you have to respect the team's decisions and their goals as well. So, you know, I can't blame them. You know, they had a they did a they like their goal was to get top ten with Leo. Uh, they achieved that uh, and they did a really good job. So, you know, like. Yeah, maybe like it was first year pro as well. You can't expect too much. So yeah, like you know, we we'll see what happens. I uh, like yeah, I'd, I'd love to start. Well, personally, I hope you go because I would like to see you sprint in the tour. I think you have what it takes. Thank you very so, much. Uh, with this wild card, does that change your training schedule? Like your intensity, which races you go to, where you go to train? Mm, I'm not so sure. Like this at this point in time. It just, it's like you have a little bit less stress uh, to perform. Well, obviously, like you have to perform, but you have a little less stress to perform because you know you have the spot. So you can target your race, the race more with the training and that. But um, yeah, uh, I think it's a little bit better because we know we have the card and you can sink on the race and prepare your body for the race before and that's good uh let's move on to you sam i want to talk some uh, some sprinting with you in a recent article sean kelly the irish legend said that you have the speed to match mark cavendish how do you respond to this i don't know it's a very big ask you know like he's one of the fastest guys in the world and yeah for sure it's yeah i don't know it's it's not easy it doesn't mean it's going to happen but Maybe it could happen, but you know, you, you also need a little bit of luck in those circumstances to be in the right place at the right time. But you know, I'll definitely, I, I'd love to, to have a go at sprinting against him. But yeah, it's yeah. I think also I need a bit more strength. Maybe in a few in a year or two when I have a, a bit, a bit a few more seasons behind me, and hopefully I can improve my sprint a bit more and. Yeah, just get to the finish fresher. Maybe yeah. we'll see what happens. I also think that Jan's experience helps you because he's been in the peloton a bit more than you have. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, do you believe that Bora is going to try to lead you out this year like we see Etix Quickstep do and uh, Giant do for Kittle? Are we going to see Bora going to do lead-out trains in the upcoming races? Well, we, uh, you know, they have really big engines in that team. So maybe our tactic might be a little bit different, but uh, we've been doing like really good lead-out training today and just trying different riders in different positions to see what works best. And, you know, you go to races, you always have different riders at different places. You're not always going to have a set lead out train, five riders, like, at every race. So, now today we tried everything. When we go to the race, we can say, oh, yeah, so we tried this way with these guys. For this race, we're going to have it this way. So, you know, like, we, we've planned it out. Well, I think we, we got a lot of, you know, good information from today and uh, it looks pretty good um, everybody seems to be at a, a slightly higher level this year and you know like Shane Archibald has been signed and I worked really well with Zach last year and the two guys I really trust um, so I think it's looking it's looking really good and maybe we could uh, I say uh, hopefully this year we cause a little bit of trouble for the bigger teams Oh, good luck on that. If you if you had to choose one leader man, like you decide leader man from your team, who would that be? The one you trust most? Uh, I I really don't know. You know, like Zach and uh, Zach and Shane, they both do a really good job, and the both guys I really trust. Okay. So I don't know. I can't choose. <laughs> I understand you, I understand you. Well, Jan, let's move over to you. As mentioned before, you got third in the time trial on the tour last year. Do you feel you can improve on that this year and probably like beat uh, Tony Martin and to uh, Tony, du uh, what's his name, uh, Dumoulin, who beat you last year as well? Uh, it's hard to say, but I think uh, I have now a new bike and the bike, I think it's faster. Uh, it's a plus for me, but I think the time trial this year, it's first day and it's uh, really short like last year because uh, 
this year it's uh, like 15 or 16 case and the year before was 50 or more like 50 it's a little bit uh, other race if you have to go 50 case or 15 mm -hmm. you said your bike was faster why, why do you believe this bike is faster than your previous one oh i think the bike it's completely faster because the, it's more stiff it's more aero and the position i think can be also a little bit better on this bike and uh, this make also the small difference and in the time time trial some just some seconds can make big difference in the in the results because i think in short time trial like this make every second maybe one two place that's very true uh, what's your secret to time trial? Like, what makes you better than all the other guys in the peloton? Pushing the pedals faster. <laughs> I don't know, maybe pushing the pedals harder and with more power. Just, that's, uh, a, that's just a good answer. <laughs> go full guard. All, all in. And so there's no technique you this. would recommend to use for young guys out there wanting to be just like Yambata? Yeah, maybe it's some technique, but I think it's uh, um, more a lot of uh, your uh, main and mentality, and uh, you have to go just just a block and that all to the field. Sense. <laughs> that makes sense, Jan. Uh, to sum this up, I'd like to ask you guys, what races are you targeting for the 2015 season? Where can we expect to see you guys ride? I think we'll start with you, Sam. Um, I don't know, like I have a, a fully packed uh, race schedule for the first six months, uh, 42 race days, but it depends on, you know, sicknesses or like the health, like the health and the form, uh, feeling throughout the season, but yeah, I'll just, I want to gain more consistency this year, uh, you know, a, a sprinter has to be able to win all year round, not, not just in certain parts of the season. Um, so yeah, I just want to continue to put myself in the right place. Uh, in the sprints and trying to just get the best results I can and pull out as many as I can. Um, I can't really say what races I'll be doing and targeting, but I just, uh, you know, if, yeah, I just, I'd like to get as many wins as I can. Uh, don't we all? How about you, Jan? Yeah, I, uh, my problem, Rami, it's now started in the Spanish races and uh, these races are more like prepared and after uh, I have to go to the classic races uh, like San Remo, Rube, Flanderen uh, and uh, these races uh, will be important I think and I hope my form will be good for these races and uh, I still strong from the last year. <laughs> well best of luck in that. Uh, thank you guys both for being on here and interviewing with me. Very appreciative of that. Best of luck in this upcoming season, and I hope I'll talk to you guys again mid-season with some uh, some good results on your schedules. Thank you guys. Very Thanks much. very much.